Hey there, movie fans. Welcome to the Blues of January 2020. And we begin with In Search of the Last Action Heroes. I talked about this in my um, December update when I was showing In Search of Darkness, uh, the documentary about 80s horror. Uh, this one tackles the action genre, specifically from the 1980s. And uh, like Darkness, I am one of the uh, Indiegogo backers. And um, it's a fantastic documentary. You know, you can, uh, you can tell that the guys who made this uh, did it with the love and passion they have for the genre. Uh, directed by Oliver Harper, who has his own YouTube channel. I will put the link uh, to his channel in the uh, description below. Uh, go check him out. Uh, he has a you know some great content, an interesting content. Um, but I really enjoyed this uh, this documentary, and it makes me want to get more '80s and '90s action movies. As a matter of fact, I did get a few. Uh, Cobra, uh, with the iconic macho image of Stallone there, not as iconic as Rambo, for example. But if you take away the names, uh, you still know what movie this is, you know. So, yeah. And I also picked up Tango and Cash with Stallone and Kurt Russell, uh, a buddy cop movie. You know, a subgenre that was very popular in the 80s and 90s. I remember, I, I remember the, the first time I saw it... Um, it was on German television, and um, I recorded it on VSS, and I watched it over and over. You know, I, I enjoyed it so much that I didn't mind that it was in German language. And the last one of the action movies is Double Impact with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, this was on sale at uh, Amazon.com. They had more um, uh, MVD titles on sale, but I wasn't interested in those. I, you know, I just I was only interested in this one. Uh, but I haven't seen this movie since the age of VSS, so very much looking forward to checking it out again. That was a nice slip there. You know, got all these uh, you know VSS kind of VSS stickers on it. Please be kind and rewind. So yeah, this is a very, very good release, this one. I picked up these two fine spaghetti westerns by Sergio Cabucci, uh, The Hellbenders, and The Specialist. Uh, I'm glad that they have gotten a Blu-ray release, especially The Specialist. You know, I never thought it would ever come out on, uh, on, on Blue. Uh, I have a, a bootleg DVD of it, thanks to my good friend uh, Carlos, Eastwood, Eastwood for Life fan. And um, I've ordered two other Spaghetti Westerns, but I haven't received them yet. And uh, I'm two titles away from completing my Sergio Cabucci Western collection. Uh, they are Johnny Oro, a.k.a. Ringo and his Golden Pistol. And a Western comedy called What Am I Doing in the Middle of a Revolution? They're both available on DVD, but the last one is not English friendly. So hopefully there, w there will be an English friendly release one day. Okay, I picked up two films by Oliver Stone. And the first one is Platoon, uh, put out by Shout Factory with a uh, new 4K restoration. Approved by Mr. Stone himself. And um, I used to have the older Blu-ray, which I have sold. But before I did that, I compared the transfers. And this definitely has a better picture quality. And what can I say about the movie? I mean, it's, it's, it's a classic, you know. Great, great movie. And the other one is the German steelbook of The Doors. Yeah, this is a very, very beautiful release. And it has two uh, two versions. 
you have the um, 140 minute uh, original version and the final cut which is two minutes two minutes shorter and it also comes with a bonus disc and that is uh, the documentary when you're strange uh, narrated by Johnny Depp so yeah beautiful release oh well, I like the uh, the front cover there with the uh, Val Kilmer as uh, uh, Jim Morrison. No, he's perfectly cast as Jim Morrison. It's it's like you're watching Jim Morrison himself in the movie and not Val Kilmer. You know, that's what I felt when I saw the movie, and not many actors can do that. Next is Man of a Thousand Faces, uh, based on the life of Lon Chaney. Well, not entirely. I I. I'd say about 50%, something like that, is true. The rest was made up by the screenwriters, which is usually the case with these uh, Hollywood biopics. Um, you know, they made things up to make it more dramatic. And um, James Cadney, uh, he's great as, as Lon Chaney. Even though he is too old, you know, he plays Chaney when he was in his 20s and 30s, while Cadney himself was in his 50s, but despite all that, uh, it is a wonderful uh, uh, melodrama that kind of in the same tradition as the Douglas Sirk films, you know, like uh, Written on the Wind and uh, Imitation of Life that came out around the same time as uh, Man of a Thousand Faces. And they were also um, produced by the same studio. Uh, um, Universal International. Next is Joker. Yeah, what can I say about this one? It's brilliant. It's absolutely a brilliant film. And um, Joaquin Phoenix is is phenomenal. You know, he raised the film to higher levels. The biggest surprise to me, however, about Joker is Todd Phillips, you know, the director, writer, and producer. He's best known for his comedy work, like the Hangover trilogy, and I never knew he could make something like this. You know, uh, he was clearly, perhaps too clearly, inspired by Taxi Driver, uh, King of Comedy, and Fight Club, but he did he did an amazing job, and. Um, you know, they're, they're talking about doing a sequel. And if you ask me, it doesn't need a sequel. I mean, the film has a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. And that's it. That's enough. You know, it doesn't need anything else. I mean, a, a sequel to a film like this is, is pointless. But they're probably going to, do on, going to do one anyway. But, um, yeah, amazing film. It absolutely is. Joker. And here is a gift uh, for my American viewers. Well, actually, one of you. Uh, this is the uh, digital download code of Joker. Okay, I got three titles from Indicator Powerhouse, and the first one is Winter Kills, a surreal but entertaining uh, political comedy thriller that's inspired by the Kennedy assassination. However, some people believe it's based on the Kennedy assassination. Uh, one of them is the writer of the book that was um, the basis for this movie, um, uh, Richard Condon. Uh, he also wrote The Mansurian Candidate. And um, uh, Jeff Bridges plays a guy who is trying to find out who killed his half-brother you know, almost 20 years ago. And uh, his half-brother was uh, President of the United States. And um, it, it's, it's an interesting movie. But what's even more interesting are the behind-the-scenes stories. For example, the uh, executive producers, uh, Leonard J. Goldberg and uh, uh, Robert Sterling. You now, Sterling had to go to prison for 40 years for smuggling drugs. And uh, Goldberg was murdered you know, a, few, a few weeks before the film came out. 
He was found in his apartment, handcuffed to his bed, and shot twice in his head. Apparently, he owned some people money, and he couldn't pay them back, and you know that cost him his life. And there are more crazy stories about uh, winter kills. You can look it up on uh, IMDb, by the way. But um, I mean, this 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 film has an impressive cast. I mean, just look at this: Jeff Bridges, John Huston, Anthony Perkins, Eli Wallach, Sterling Hayden, Dorothy Malone. She was also uh, that's her, you know, the blonde one. She was also in uh, in this movie. Uh, Thomas Millian, Belinda Bowers, who was in uh, uh, Robocop 2, Ralph Meeker, Toshiro Mifune, uh, Richard Boone, and also with um, uh, Joe Spinell, uh, Brad Dexter, one of the Magnificent Seven, and Elizabeth Taylor in an uncredited role. So yeah, very impressive ensemble cast there. Not bad for a... Uh, uh, first time director to bring all those people together in one movie anyway uh, next is They Made Me a Fugitive uh, excellent British noir thriller um, Leslie Howard plays um, a member of a, a criminal gang who is being set up goes to jail, managed to escape, and then goes after the ones who framed him. And um, this this is a very good film. Very good film, very good performances, especially by um, Griffith Jones, who plays such a nasty bastard, you know. But, uh, uh, excellent, excellent film. Here's the, uh, the auto artwork. Ooh, a little glare there. The auto artwork right there. I also got the, uh, the booklet. And the final indicator release I have is Night Tide with Dennis Hopper. A uh, very decent movie with a very nice twist at the end. And the reason why uh, Nicholas Winding Revan is involved in this 1961 cult classic is because he owns the original negative and he restored it in uh, 4K, and it looks very beautiful. Beautiful, you know, black and white uh, photography. I mean, anyway, this is a, a nice release. Here's the uh, the Blu-ray with the original artwork. And it also has the uh, the bonus disc. Dream Logic, the short films of uh, Curtis Harrington, the uh, director of uh, Night Tide. And it also has this little thing, a, a business card. Oh, it goes a little envelope. Uh, Captain Samuel Murdoch. Now this is he's one of the characters from uh, from the movie. And here is the booklet with a picture of the director, uh, Curtis Harrington. And here's another one. Of course, it got inf information about the movie and also the short films that are on this release here's a young Dennis Hopper right there and here's a, a small set of lobby cards So yeah, this is a, a very nice release. And I like the artwork, by the way. Yep, Indigator had done it again. And speaking of nice releases, I also got the uh, 4K set of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yep, very nice indeed. And uh, of course, you got the movie on 4K, 4K blue, and also the uh, normal blue. 
and uh, a, a bonus Blu-ray as well, with some uh, you know interesting uh, documentaries about this uh, sci-fi classic. And here's an, a little envelope, and inside it are a booklet. Let me show you that in a minute, and uh, some picture cards there. Oh, excuse me. Yep, and here's the uh, picture book. There's Mr. Kubrick behind the camera, and some uh, you know behind the scenes uh, photos and and uh, artwork, sketches and all that. Ooh. No, oh, this. <laughs> I thought there was uh, there was another page, but uh, that's not the case. And here is Hell Nine Thousand. Yeah, beautiful release of a beautiful movie, 2001 A Space Odyssey. And that is it for my January 2020 update. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.